If everybody would do a garden for themselves, they would change the perspective on how they see the world. I'm 100%. If you go in the garden, appreciate the food you grow, absorb the soil, how it involves, how it reacts on your work, you can really understand why deserts are occurring, why rain is occurring, why all these global things are taking place uh, right now. My name is Robert, I'm 26 years old and I'm a gardener from Slovenia. With Tiasha I cultivate a 300 square meter vegetable garden and together we permanently live in a tiny house next to it. We practice organic, no-dig gardening in harmony with nature. We are really blessed to have the opportunity to make a living out of it. So this is exactly what I do in the garden, just putting a lot of mulch, a lot of organic matter, compost or rotted wood on top and everything grows perfectly after. It's what uh, nature does it uh, in the forest and I'm just copying it. It was not always like this. On the same day as I graduated as a civil engineer, I went on a job interview and I got that job. And after one week, I just really didn't feel good. And then I made the change. I mean, normally people make a change after 20, 30, 40 years doing something they don't like. I made that change after one week. I didn't know what I would do. I mean, it, well, they were really tough times and I just knew, knew I loved to garden. And I just focused and focused more in gardening. And during every year I got better and better at it. And at the same time, I had to figure it out, how, how, how to live this kind of lifestyle. So it's like taking people on tours in the garden, um, writing books, uh, sharing the knowledge, sharing some good ideas, some good tools with other people. And I can have my own creativity still with the garden and I just really love it. I just, uh, every year, try something new, invent something new and this creativity allows me to, to push the, the business around it really to the next level. Welcome to our tiny house. We are in the kitchen. Here we have some supplies and behind it is the bathroom. Here is our wooden barrel for the shower. This is our main living area. Here we spend the most of our time. The place where we sit and eat and work and everything is just here. Up there, um, every house needs a place where you need to put some stuff. We collect a lot of postcards from our travels and also friends uh, send us uh, their postcards from their travels and it's really fun to collect them. And above the kitchen is our bedroom. To be in a tiny house, it's not about living on 17 square meters. It's about not living on 200 or more. In the evening, a lot of friends come by and I really enjoyed that time when I can share all the, all the products that I, I, I grown with other people and we can taste them all together and have fun.
I like to hang out with creative and um, happy people. And I want that a lot of people just live their dreams because then they'll be truly, truly happy and creative and free. Yeah. <laughs>